Well, hello. Ready or not. hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. So much for peace. Site, and it's still alive. You should collect it from the corpse. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Follow your instincts. Don't be afraid. its host's memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Your mind swells as it subsides. 
consumes everything that Tadpole has to offer. Everything it was and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. So, you've indulged. Just helped yourself to a little more power, I see. And there isn't a tentacle to be seen. <laughs> Not a bad deal, I'd say. My only complaint is that you didn't want to share. I wouldn't mind indulging myself. Admit, I wasn't keen to be the first to try it, uh, just in case there were any uh, surprise side effects. <laughs> but now that we know it's safe, I'm all for experimenting. I might just hold you to that. Goblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, 
and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, al Koltek, Shulkok Hank! The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Raxlin's mind resists your penetration. He speaks his first question. Talk to me, freak. Who killed you? The creature responds, not in words, but memories. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. Damn it! That tells me nothing! The memory fades, and the corpse awaits the next question. Raxlin's thoughts royal, then still. Your words will be his. You navigate carefully. With Raxlin's voice, you ask. What did the killer want? Raxlin's mind is clouded by doubt, surprised by words he didn't expect. Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Githamans, they know something. Suspicion floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the...? The corpse collapses, silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all the glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Praise the Absolute.
What now? No! no. Please! Oh, don't hurt me! You are? I... I need to get out of here! your bag. Please, please, let me out. There's no reason for this. I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakin would reward us if we found it. That's all. But Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, 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 they said they'd eat him. Please, please, these shackles. I, I don't want to die. Thank you. Thank you so much. Before they catch us, I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. The, the grove, to the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No, they'll kill everyone. Please, I need to warn them. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have.
goblins are such vile little parasites. Given your own nature, are you really the one to judge? It might be useful. Corpse regards you lifelessly. The corpse remains silent. It doesn't understand the question. No.
What now? With pleasure. I sent you to Zevlo. And if it is? Strangers are the scourge. The right is the remedy. No laws can change that. What do you need now? Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? 
Or mayhaps... You again. It seems to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Lots of people make promises. Few keep them. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins or anything like that. Something about you. laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things are lost to me right now. I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. Another moment won't kill them, I suppose. Well, it might, but let's take that risk. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. That didn't hurt, did it? Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. Oh. 
All's well, I hope. No. I just wanted to see how you felt after the night we spent together. When we talked and kissed. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. Well, perhaps you have a point. Fine. Let's explore these powers then. I just hope we don't come to regret it.